there guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Shift. In the last episode we completed the hot lap at Silverstone National Invitational Event. And now we're going to be moving on to the next Invitational Event, which is the Lap Eliminator at Hazy View Oval. Now before we start this event or look at the event details, I want to give you a quick um, idea of what a Lap Eliminator is. Now for those of you who are familiar with Need for Speed and all the other games that Need for Speed has created, this shouldn't be anything new to you guys. But there are some people out there that are playing this game for the first Need for Speed ever. So a Lap Eliminator is pretty much self-explanatory. There's going to be a certain number of laps based on how many racers there are in the race. And at the end of each lap, at the end of each lap, one person is eliminated. Whoever's in last place gets cut. So the idea is to stay out of last place. Whatever you do, do not do not want to be in last place whenever you cross the finish line. Because if you are in last place, you're going to be eliminated. Once there is only two racers left, the last man standing wins. So just pretty much keep out of last place and you'll be all right. So before we start this uh, event, let's take a look at the event details. This is a lap eliminator and it's got three stars for the podium finish. The rewards for first place is $8,000. The restrictions for this race is the seat Leon Cupra. The number of laps is seven and you can get a look at the track over on the right. The distance of the track is 0 0.26 miles so it's fairly short but it's got seven laps so that makes up for it. And the name of the track is Hazy View Oval and this here is a new track so it's a, a pretty new experience for both the race event type and the race track itself. So once you've glanced over the event details, let's go ahead and take it on. They're lending us the Seat Leon Cooper for today's race. Looks like we're going to be driving in an SUV type vehicle. It's pretty slow at that.
coming in hot, looking for victory. And there it is. We're the last one standing. So as long as you've made your way up to first place and you weren't in last place for any of the laps, you should have made it to the end. For first place, we get $8,000 and three stars. That's a thousand precision points for us. That should be enough to take us on to the next driver level. Very nice. So with that, our driver level has increased to level 17. The rewards for leveling up is we earned $125,000 in sponsorships and we unlocked the animals vinyl category. So we just earned a lot of money. And that Coming in first place earns us 3 out of 3 stars for this event to level up in a lot of cash, 125000 for reaching level 17. So be on the lookout, we just got rich off one race. Also we've unlocked a new Inventational event. Man these things just keep piling up one after another seems like when we complete one a new one comes but anyways this is a tier 4 event and it is the Carrera GT race at SPA Grand Prix all right so now that we got that out of the way that takes care of the lap eliminator at Hazy View Oval on the next episode we're going to be doing the time eliminator at Alpintal slightly different from the lap eliminator but I'll go to detail on what it's about on the next episode because this is slightly uh, a new event for us that's a little bit different than the lap eliminator. See you guys on the next episode of Need for Speed Shift.